herpes is a common sexually transmitted disease caused by two type of viruses herpes simplex virus herpes simplex type 1 and herpes simplex type 2 according to the centers of disease control and prevention about one out of every six people between the age of 14 and 49 in the united states have genital herpes this kind of infection can affect anyone but women are at higher risk than men having multiple sexual partners also increases the risk of this infection some common symptoms of genital herpes include pain itching small red bumps or tiny white blisters, sores in the genital area and painful urination. Other symptoms of this include headache, body aches and fever. And how to cure it? Cold compress. One effective way to relieve pain and itching associated with genital herpes is using a cold compress. The cold temperature helps to contract the blood vessels underneath the skin which in turn reduces the pain and inflammation. It also helps to shrink the size of the sores to accelerate the healing process. Wrap some ice cubes in the thin towel, apply it directly to the affected area for the 10 minutes. Take a break for a few seconds from time to time, repeat every 3 to 4 hours to reduce the pain and discomfort. Make sure you use a fresh towel every time and wash the used towel in the hot water. Another option is to chill a used tree bag in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and apply it on the affected area. Hold it in a place for 10 to 15 minutes. Do this several times a day. You can also wash the affected area with cold water from time to time to keep it clean. Epsom salt bath. An Epsom salt bath can speed up the healing type of sores or blisters due to genital herpes outbreaks. It does so by drying up the places faster. It can also relieve the pain and reduce the aging. Fill a bathtub with leaky warm water. Add 1 to 2 cups of Epsom salt. Stir the water to make sure that the salt dissolves completely. Soak your lower body in this water for 10 to 30 minutes for maximum skin absorption. When done, dry the genital area with a blow dryer on the warm setting for leaky warm air. Use this remedy one or two times a weekly only. Number 3. Coconut Oil The medicinal and healing potential of the coconut oil make is another good remedy. Coconut oil has antiviral as well as the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. The medium chain tiger sprites, lauric and capric acid have antiviral effects, which can destroy the virus causing its outbreak. Coconut oil also reduces the itching and the inflammation. Apply extra virgin coconut oil on the affected area before going to the bed. Allow it to sit overnight and rinse the area to outlaw with the leukemia warm water and the next morning. Repeat it daily. Alternatively, make a salve by mixing equal amount of extra virgin coconut oil and raw money. Rub it liberally onto the skin where there is an open source, two or three times a day. Also include two to three tablespoons of extra virgin coconut oil in your daily diet. Aloe vera. Aloe vera is natural antiviral agent that can be used to treat all type of herpes. It helps to heal the lesions as well as relieving the pain, inflammation and itching. Twelve greens and aloe vera leaf and extract the gel. Apply it on the affected area, allow it to dry as soon as possible. And wipe it off with a washcloth soaked in the warm water. Do this three to five times daily and several days. You can also drink aloe vera juice once daily to promote the healing. To prepare the juice, blend 2 tablespoons of the fresh aloe vera gel along with 1 cup of orange or any other citrus juices. Do not take more than 3 tablespoons of the aloe vera gel in a day as it can cause a laxative effect. Hydrogen Peroxide Hydrogen peroxide is another quite popular home remedy for the genital herpes. The extra oxygen molecule in hydrogen peroxide chemically reacts with the anaerobic bacteria and viruses and destroys them. This in turn speeds up the healing time. Using a cotton ball, dab 3% hydrogen peroxide on the affected area, leave it on for a few minutes then wash it off with leaky warm water and repeat every few hours for a few days. You can also crush a lysine tablet, mix it with hydrogen peroxide and apply the solution on the affected area. Rinse it off after 10 minutes with the leukemia warm water. 
do this once daily.